Hello, 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 friends and neighbors. It's me, at Kicked It Head. We are back. Fishing Planet. Take a look. You can see the map is slightly different. There's been a couple updates to the map. We've got a new lake up here. We've got Lake St. Croix in Michigan. Um, but you got to be level 20 to unlock that. And then there's a uh, Falcon Lake over here in Oregon. You can see we got nice. You got to be level 14 for that. And they actually lowered the, the levels for New York, I believe it was, and possibly North Carolina or Florida. I forget. They lowered some, some lakes, the levels that you need for the lakes. They've also added some more fish, and they've also up made the difficulty much, much more difficult to catch the fish and stuff. I have not played it since the updates. Like I said, I've been gone for about a month and a half due to the move and everything. You could probably hear the echo in the room and stuff. I do apologize for that. But without further ado, I thought we'd jump in. We'd test some of the waters and see how it goes. Um, see what the new changes have brought in store. Now, I have, like I said, I have not fished at all since the start. Let's just quickly familiarize ourselves with what we've got. See, you've got some flies. We've got that rod set up that rod set up and that rod set up okay that's not too bad let's go ahead and we'll jump over to the map let's jump down here and uh we'll see if we can catch a couple catfish and some bass real fast see what we can do so we'll jump over here and they also made the cost of traveling cheaper as well i believe on some of the the, the cities you don't need so much money to go fishing as well so we're looking here the peak points are between seven and nine and looks to be about one and four or two and four or somewhere around there. Okay, that's not a problem. Let's go ahead and we'll go there. Let's go ahead and go fishing. Now I am using my new Una mic. Uh, I hope this makes a difference. You guys need to let me know what you guys think. I'm still fiddling around with stuff, trying to get it all set up and hopefully it's set up right, but I'm sure you guys will let me know. So let's take a look here. What do we got? That's our spinner bait. Let's go to our fly rod here. Let's go to that. And let's go ahead and we're going to cast about right there. And we'll see what damage we can do. Now it is a little early, but we'll see what we can get going stuff. So let's turn the speed up. Let's turn the drag down. And let's go ahead and we'll see what we can do. I'm going to do a little twitch see if we can catch something don't seem too interested in the twitch this morning so we'll see if we go oh, there we just is about the switch techniques we get a bite and they definitely made it a little more difficult than what it was oh yeah we may have to get a little more drag on that we'll see we'll give it a go we'll see how it goes Definitely a little more challenging now to get them reeled in. No, don't get too much slack on it. You'll drop them. Well, he's going out there a long ways. He's taking the line for all she's worth. Let him get tired out a little bit there. See if we can get start getting them pulled in some. Yeah, we've got him in at about 20 feet. Let's see if we can get him in some more now. It is much more difficult, like I said. They have up the, the aggressiveness of the fish as well as the difficulty in landing the fish, making it much more exciting, which is a good thing, I guess. I myself liked a little easier way it was to catch the fish, but that's just me. I'm a very casual player, hence the, the channel, Casual Gaming. We're getting them in here now. Hopefully we can keep them on the line and we'll be okay. Well, you've really been in that rod down. They've also added uniques into the game too. I've seen someone catch a unique trout the other day. There we go. What did we catch? Well, that's a pretty good loudmouth bass. Actually, it seems small compared to what I was normally done. 1.9. That seemed awful small for what we just went through. So we'll go ahead and keep that. That's worth 14 experience and some money. We'll keep that. 
Let's go ahead and we're going to try to do some catfish here. If we switch to Rob 1, and if we just quickly take a look at our inventory here, and you see that we're fishing with fish, or with flies rather. And if we look over here at flies, you'll see in summertime, fish are often found near the bank waiting for flies to get blown onto the water. If you have a net, you can round up plenty of flies for bait. The advantage of using flies is they work well both dead or alive. These are mainly for bluegill and trout. So I was fishing in New York for some trout. There's no trout here. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch that to, let's switch out to, for some small cut bait. We're going to switch up to about 92. That should be good. And what we're going to do is switch. And we're going to just cast right out here and see if we can catch a, a catfish real fast. See what we can do. Yeah, you can't be on the bottom. What are you talking about? Okay. Let's try that again. Hmm. Usually you can get right there on that and right in front of you and you're usually okay. Well, we'll give it a go. We'll see if we can catch any catfish anyway. It looks like it's trying to stand up now. Yeah, it's pretty close. We should be able to detect any hit or any strike that a catfish will take on her. Yep, getting a little nibble. Will you take it? Go for it. Go for it. And come on. Doesn't look like you're going to go for it after all. Patience, Yago. Anyway, yeah, the game's coming along. They've added, like I said, they've added a lot of updates and stuff to it. And uh, I'll see if I can get that next time. I'll get all the updates that they've made in it. Now, from what I understand, this game is no longer available on Steam. Um, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but some people said that they have not been able to get this game. Which is strange because it is free to play. So I know Dovetail Fishing they took off for a while um, because they're getting ready to release that to... To beta now instead of pre or early access. Dovetail fishing is getting ready to go beta, so they've got that offline off market now. You can't buy it until it releases the beta. And looks like we might get ready to take a bite here. It is a little early for catfish, and they ain't gonna be biting too much right now. He wants it, but he doesn't know if he wants it 100%. Well, if he doesn't want to take it, we'll just go ahead and pull it out. And we'll switch back to another bass fish and see what we can do with that. How are we doing on time? About 10 minutes in. Okay, let's go ahead and pick this up. And we'll switch back to our jig here. And uh, let's just take a, well, you know what, let's come out this way some, see if we can catch anything out that way. We're going to do a stop and go technique this time, see if we do anything better with that. So we'll crease that up, and then we'll just go ahead and do a little stop and go. Give it about four seconds, reel in two or three. Oh, we're snagged. Okay, we're released from the snag. That's good. So we don't want it to go all the way down. So let's just do a little bit of stop and go here. See if we can catch something. Had a little hit on it, but he didn't take it all the way. Okay. 
we come back out here. We usually have the best luck right out that direction. Now I'm going to do. I'm going to slow my speed down a little bit. I'm going to try to slow and go and just try to go straight. See if we could get a bite this way. Much more interest in that. We got a three, three full interest on the circles. Don't look like they're going to take it though. Now I have seen them come clear up to the bank. If we take a look in the water there, you might actually be able to catch them in the water there. Nope. Now if we really wanted to maximize our efforts, we would fast forward it to about 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, somewhere around there. And, and we'd have a better chance of catching some, some bass or some catfish. And don't look like we're going to catch much. Okay, I think what we'll do now for the next few minutes is let's go ahead and we'll get out of here. And let's go ahead and we'll head back home. Now we caught one fish, we had one snag, no line breaks, we got 14 experience and $10. Didn't really cover our cost of going, but that's okay. This is all for experimental purposes. And what we want to do is, I think, we don't have a license for New York, but we do have license for Rocky, Rocky Lake in Colorado. And you got trout, some crappie, and some panfish. Let's go out there one day. It's going to cost us $280 to go out there. That's much cheaper than what it used to be. We'll take a look. I believe it was like $280 or, or $320 last time. So our biggest peak is toward the evening time, but we might get something here at the beginning. And let's head on. Not too sure. I've never really done much fishing here, but we'll see. We'll get what it, we'll we'll try a little bit of the flies and see if we can get some of the trout. So if we go back into our one rod, let's come out here, and we want to go one, and let's just throw the fish back on there, or the flies rather, see if we can get some trout, and let's drop our, not too sure where we need to go for trout, let's go about, let's go about 45 and see if that does any good. Not too familiar with trout, but we'll see, and let's go... Let's go right about there. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I thought trout you would normally just reel in, but if it's flies and stuff, you can't really do that. You'd have to let it sit out there. But I saw trout fishermen using like fly fishing and stuff like that, where they snap the line back and forth. Oh, strike was done too early. Okay. So there was something out there. We probably missed it. It probably won't happen again, but we'll see. See if something else is striking it or not. Really misty morning here. You can hear the birds out there. The loons and stuff. Let's. Oh, strike was done too early still. So there is still something there. So we'll give it a minute. We'll see if something happens on it. And if not, we'll switch it over and maybe strike too early. I didn't do anything. This is touchy. So we'll give it a second. There we go. Okay, something's still out there with it. Just saw it twitch a little bit. I love the sounds and the ambience on, on this game. I don't know if it's coming across in the game if you guys can hear it in the video or not, but it's just lovely. Okay, let's switch. Let's roll this back. Let's get some speed on our reel. Let's drop the drag a little bit. 
Let's get this reeled in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to go right over the other side a little bit. Let's see if we can get something over here. About 100 feet out there, not too bad. And we'll see if we can catch anything. There's something there. But will they take it? Let's see. There we go. What are we going to get? Let's let it go. Well, he's fighting it. Well, he's running. Come on. Don't go in any snags. Come back this way. Come back over here. Come over here. There you go. Come on. Well, oh, he's got some speed on him. There you go. Come on. You're getting tired. I can see it. Come back this way. There we go. We're getting you in here. It doesn't feel that big. It does have some speed on them though. Oh, that's not bad. Nice, almost two pound cutthroat trout. Not too bad. We'll go ahead and keep that. That's actually my first trout, I believe, or my second. Not too bad. Let's come out over here by the weeds a little bit. Let's see what we can get over here. Let's see if we can get anything good right over there. How are we doing on time? We're about almost 20 minutes in. Not too bad. We'll give it one more try, see if we can land something, and then we'll go ahead and we'll end the video. This is mainly just a short test video. I just want to try out the new the new mic and everything, pop filter and stuff, and see if it makes a difference for you guys. Like I said, I'm sure there is probably an echo that's being picked up. Cast left tree, four or five square rock, and center stop and go low speed. What left tree? Hmm. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem to be anything right over there. Let's come in a little bit. Now, what we'll probably catch is a crappie or a panfish, something up here close to the banks and stuff. Yeah, there we go. We've got. Whoop. Yeah, it's going to be a crappie or a panfish. Yeah, a little sunfish, bluegill. Not bad. We'll go ahead and release that. Okay, so there we go, everybody. Once again, this has been Fishing Planet. I've been the kick to the head. Let me know what you guys think of the new mic. Let me know if it made a difference. Now, I'm sure the echo is still there, and that will be there until I can get some paintings and some furnishing and some carpets on the floors and stuff in my new office space. So let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll catch you all later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.